fathers. I think the way I understood his question is that he put it in this way. He is saying that is it uh, more appropriate to invent something new and modern rather than follow the tradition of the fathers? Yeah. I would say it's important to use what is available in the tradition. Often what is lost is important to recover. And it seems to me that these Sogyurtho are at least partly lost and can be recovered. And this would be one example where it's worth reviving. Uh, one needs to both use the past and uh, create new things for the future. So it's not a question of either just reviving or um, writing new things. It's a matter of doing both. I want to uh, ask you in English, uh, Professor Susan. Uh, you said that the role of the Syrian uh, woman um, in the ancient history was uh, very uh, big, very great, and they did very much things for the community. But now, uh, these days, I think the role of the uh, women in the church is, uh, is very small. We, we just have quads and we have uh, nuns in the monastery, but um, except for that we, we, we don't have anything else. So um, I want to ask you how can we uh, increase and improve the role of the woman in the church and in the society? Thank you very much for this question. It is, uh, again, one of the blessings of Syriac tradition that it is a very long tradition. We've had this church for 2,000 years and more. Much can happen in that time, and uh, there, were, there have been long periods in that history when, uh, especially under um, Islamic rule, when sometimes it, it simply was not, uh, it was not allowed Maybe not even, maybe not exactly by law, but the, the social conditions did not uh, make it possible for women to go out and be doing the kind of public work that, that we read about so often in the ancient Syriac sources. And so, uh, and, and that lasted, unfortunately, for a long time. And people forget that they had an even older tradition, which showed a different kind of, of presence in the, in the society and in the church for women. Now, of course, we live in very different circumstances. And now we live, now this is a very different circumstance. We have still uh, many of your families and your friends um, in the Middle East, but you are also here in the diaspora, or in North America, or in Sweden, or, or in Germany. And the cultures are very different than those back um, at home or in the, in the motherland. And so um, one of the challenges is for uh, your people to uh, think about that new context and how you're going to respond to the challenge of that. And in some respects, as my phone and Sebastian was saying, um, you have traditions worth recovering and worth renewing. Um, the other thing is that we live in a very changed, time of history. And it is the case now, I, I speak as, as an American, um, it is the case now that uh, society allows us roles and work that were not sanctioned at another time. And it's also the case that this has happened uh, in the secular society much more pervasively than in some of the churches. In the ancient 
original church, there wasn't a